today I'm sharing how to build corner pantry shelves. Two years ago I shared our DIY wood pantry shelves in our first pantry closet makeover. I'll link that video below. But we actually have a second pantry closet that's currently a huge disorganized mess. I want to give this pantry a makeover as well, but with corner wood shelves. Okay, let's get started. For the wood shelves, we use 16 inch and 12 inch wide premium edge glued panel boards from the Home Improvement Store. But you can also use 1x12s like I did for our other pantry closet makeover. I started by clearing out all of the items from our pantry. I removed our old ugly wire shelving using a pry bar since the brackets were installed with anchors and large nails. Of course, the anchors left large holes. Brandon filled those with joint compound and for the smaller holes we used spackle. Once the filler dried, we sanded it for a smooth finish. Step two is to cut the wood to size for the shelves, trim, and support. Since all pantries vary in size as well as the number of shelves needed, I don't have a cut list. But on my blog post linked below this video, I have a build plan draft of our shelves with the measurements we used to help you determine your measurements. Cut your pantry shelves to size based on your measurements needed using a miter saw or circular saw. Next, use a miter saw and cut the 2x2 support brackets to size for the back wall supports, the two side wall supports, and the middle supports. If your pantry closet is larger, make sure to use more middle supports. Finally, cut the 1x2 trim boards to size for the front of the shelves. Stain the top and bottom of the wood boards being used for the shelving. To match our other pantry shelves, I used Provincial by Minwax. After the stain dried, we used polyurethane on the top of the wood boards to help protect them and make them more wipeable. I'll link the poly we used below this video. Use a pencil and mark where you want your pantry shelves to be hung on the wall. Make sure to account for the thickness of each shelf board and trim board in addition to the space you want between each shelf. Use a stud finder and mark where the wall studs are located. Attach your back 2x2 two two wall supports to the wall using a level to ensure that they're level. I first attached my boards with a brad nailer to hold them in place. Then I drilled a 3.5 inch screw through the supports into the wall studs. I used self-tapping screws so no pilot holes were needed. After the back supports are installed, attach the right and left wall supports. Unfortunately, we didn't cross any wall studs on our left wall and one spot on our right wall, so we had to use wall anchors. To do this, we nailed the 2x2 in place and pre-drilled a pilot hole through the 2x2 and wall. Then, we carefully removed the 2x2 from the wall and drilled the hole for the anchor and tapped the anchor in place with the hammer. Next, we put the 2x2 two two back on the wall by lining up the nails with the nail holes and installing the screw through the pre-drilled pilot hole. This method allowed us to make sure our holes were all perfectly lined up. Make sure these 2x2 two two supports are all very secured to the wall. Step five is to install the metal support brackets. Use a Craig jig and drill pocket holes into one end of the two x two metal supports. Attach the metal support boards with two and a half inch Craig screws. We used a clamp to help with this step. Step 
six is to prime and paint the two by twos trim and walls. Prime the two by twos and one by twos if you aren't using pre-primed wood. Finally, paint the two by two supports and the walls as well as the front and bottom edge of the one by two trim board. Step seven is to install the wood pantry shelves and trim. Start from the bottom and place your bottom wood pantry shelf and corner shelf on top of the bottom supports. Next, clamp the side one by two trim in place and nail the trim and corner shelf into the two by two supports and each other. We used one and a quarter inch brad nails. Then clamp and attach the longer front trim board to the longer front shelf board and nail in place. Continue this process for each shelf and trim board, working your way up. Fill the nail holes with some spackle and touch them up with paint. After painting the pantry and shelves a dark pink color, last minute I decided it was just too dark for a pantry with no additional lighting, so Brandon painted it a lighter color, Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore. I love how our corner wood pantry shelves turned out. Next week I'll be sharing our full pantry closet makeover reveal and how I'm organizing everything, so make sure to subscribe and follow along. Thanks for watching. <laughs>